hello, hello. Welcome back to Plant on Planning. Here we are in my gratitude uh, planner. And we are going to get the month of December underway. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room and the fact that I've been missing for quite some time. Yes, I know. I do apologize. But life has been completely and totally hectic. But... I've partially gotten my sanity back, so I'm back to talk to you guys and plan with you guys and have a wonderful time. As you can see, I got straight to basics and got rid of that month of because we know what month it is. It's December. Not only do we know the month because we learned that a very, very long time ago back in grade school, but we have dividers that tell us the months. Look at that. Yeah. So, I never understood why they had, like, the month of up there. Like, I get it. During the week, we have the week of. But, like, we know what month it is. So, I have these to use as my washi. I want to put this up top here on my banner. And I thought this was really cool to use going across this first week. Because it's December. December 1st starts on a Saturday. So, I have all of this area just to go buck wild with, really. So I wanted to put another washi there, and I thought it would be really cool and awesome. So we're doing that. Hello. Yes, we're doing that. Um, also, we are adding some wonderful stickers. And I was a good girl this time, and I got my stickers together oh, ahead of time. So I marked them all out, the stickers that I want to use. And what I do is I just go through my sticker books, and the stickers that I actually want, I put um, my clips right on them. So I know that I want these two stickers. I know that I want this one. I know that I want that one. So it makes it really easy when it's time to actually lay it out on the page. Now granted, I know I want to use those stickers. I'm just not 100% sure where I'm going to use them. But nonetheless, let's get going. So I have my washi. And this washi has the paper backing. We all know how I feel about the paper backing. It is super annoying. But it also means that the washi is actually really see-through. So that's why it's a really great idea to white out things that you're not crazy about. So here we are putting the washi right at the top. And yes, it does overlap. Darn it. Just a tad. Like I said, well, maybe a little more than just a tad. But you can see through the washi. So it's not the end of the world. See? You can see through it a tad bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Bam. Now, I did overlap just a tad, but it just makes it easier on myself, to be honest. Then I'm going to go ahead and post them off and line it up with the top of my page. Mm -hmm. And then cut it. Now, the best, 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 best thing to do when it comes to washi like this is to tear some off. This way, when you roll it back up, it has something to stick to. So you see what I mean. Bam. There we go. See what I'm talking about? Ha ha. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off. My excess. And then we're going to go to lining out our leaks, which I forgot to show you. That washi, forgive me. To frame out our weeks, I'm going with this nice little pattern here. Um, I kept with the gold. You know, I, unfortunately, I don't really have, like, Winter Wonderland washi, which I didn't realize that until today. 
and we're gonna have to correct that issue. If I could just find the beginning of this washi. Oh my gosh. Oh, here it is. Yeah, brand new washi that I've had forever. <laughs> All right, so because we're overlapping the top, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it because I know my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday as well. So, I'm just going to go ahead and take care of that. Granted, it is a decision that I just made seeing how so much of it was overlapped and the space available really fit this washi. So I was like, hey, why not? Honestly. All right. And I'm just gonna go ahead and line out our weeks. Really easy, like, granted I should have wrote in my days, but that's all right. You live and you learn, you get loves. So what I'm doing for my weeks is I'm just covering up this line here. So I'm very slightly going over it. Nothing too crazy because I do want to leave enough space to write out my days. And then on the bottom row to line the page, I am going to go all the way across with that to match up going all the way across on the top. Now, most of the time when I cover up the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I find some stickers that I previously had um, that actually have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I'll put it right on top. Granted, I don't feel like looking for that right now, so that's where we're not going to do it. Now, because I went all the way, oh gosh, that got crooked. Because I went all the way across on the bottom, I am not framing out the sides. It's something that I normally do, but I'm trying to be a little different this month. Walking on the wild side. I'm mean, agreeing to this, not really that wild, but. <laughs> so here we go. And then we're going to go all the way across the bottom for this last one. Dang, it went crooked. All right, so there we go. Now, if you don't like the black line at the bottom, feel free to use your whiteout to get rid of it. The same thing for at the top. You can go ahead and white that out before you actually put down your washi. I'm just gonna cut off the excess from the tops. And here we have our, I like to call it our foundation for the month, sorry. So this is what we have to start with. And I think it looks pretty darn schnazzy. 
So we're gonna add some stickers in. Now the stickers that I went with have this darker purple look going on. Oh, actually I forgot to add this, sorry. Here we go, we're putting that right across the top. Now what I am going to do, because this is kind of thin, I am going to white out what's going on in here. There we go. And this is a tad bit thicker. And I want to actually go all the way across. It's going to be a tad bit of a challenge. But I'm up for it. All right, here we go. I think I got it. Right, so because I know I was a little crooked, I didn't, oh gosh, I didn't put the beginning down so tight so that I could smooth it out without any bubbles. Now, because this last one works perfectly with the sheet, I'm going to cut it right here and just add some more holes in it. I do have a hole puncher, so I'm just going to add the holes right there. But the kicker is I am going to cut it with the scissor because it is a tad bit on the waxy side. So I'm going to cut it just like that. Bam. So I use my scissors, something like a straight edge, and I get the cut in. And what I'll do is I'll get my hole puncher and punch those two holes in and everything will be grand. All right, now we get to the stickers. So I have stickers that I want to use. And I'm just going to add them in. Now, do understand that this is my gratitude planner and I do use each day. So in the days on the monthly spread, I write in something wonderful that happened that day, something that I'm grateful for, um, you know, something that happened where, you know, either I was a blessing to someone or someone was a blessing to me. But it's just a, you know, quick little area to write something really awesome and sweet down. So... Me filling in these, it's very different. Very different. So I have this here. I'm just going to put it right at the bottom. We're just as happy a whole bunch of times. Now, as you know, I like to keep my gratitude planner super simple because I'm going to focus more on writing things that I'm grateful for. So I thought this was really nice and it definitely worked with the goal that we were doing. It says, be the very best version of you. I thought that was a really great thing to focus on for the closing out of the year. I just want to put some check marks. You know, kind of going along with our color theme. Yet. Yeah. Mixing it up a little bit by throwing this turquoise in it. There we go. And then I just want to do a little prayer list. 
up here where I can write some things in around my quote. And sorry. You know, as much as you're prepared, there's always something that catches your eye in the end. Like, truth. in life and then I know I had one more that I wanted to put down from here oh no oh no that wasn't it here it is this here I'm just gonna put it up here. Just something nice to think about to start the month off. Love this life. And here we are, something really sweet. Joy begins with gratitude. There we go. Okay, so here we are in my gratitude planner, and I have it nicely started out for the month with a bunch of things that really encourage not only me, but will encourage someone else as I remember to be the best, be the very best version of myself, and also to be an encourager. So, you know, everybody goes through difficult days and hard times, but sometimes the smallest gesture that may not mean a thing to us means the world to somebody else, like a good morning or any type of compliment, like your shirt looks nice, your shoes look nice, I like those pants, your hair looks really cute. Things like that go a really, really long way to others. So I do encourage you all that even in the hardest of days that you feel you're having, to still try to lift someone else up. And I'm not talking about financially. Like, you know, you don't have to go out and start donating to a bunch of charities and things like that, especially if it's not, you know, within your means. But to be an encourager, to, yes, I'm having a really bad day, but, you know, someone else may having be having a bad day too. And... I'm just going to let them know that they had a really nice shirt on today or I really like their hairstyle today. And that's going to brighten up their life. And in turn, they're going to brighten up somebody's life. And eventually, that's going to get back to you. And someone's going to come along, you know, on one of your rough days, and they're going to say something really nice to you. And you're going to be like, oh, my gosh, thank you so much. That meant the world to me. And that's kind of how karma works. So, I encourage you to be an encourager. So I thank you for joining me here as we got my gratitude planner together for the month of December. And I look forward to seeing you next time. So have a wonderful, wonderful December. Bye, guys. Bye. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay.